All right, we're live? All right, cool. Uh, so I posted this on Twitter, but I figured I'd do it here for the YouTube audience. Um, just, you know, kind of coming back after the event and breaking down everything. We've got the uh, Cybertruck page here pulled up with all the pricing. Um, and I just thought I'd go through kind of like the Cybertruck pricing, what it means to break that down compared to the R1T, which is really the main competitor that Cybertruck is going after here. So let's break this down, the pricing and everything. So Cybertruck is starting with a rear wheel drive model. Okay, that rear wheel drive, rear -wheel drive model is at $61,000. A pretty good price, uh, pretty low, especially when you look at what Rivian has. Uh, they don't have a rear wheel drive option. They only have all wheel drive and it starts at 73,000. Now the Rivian, you're gonna get more range and you're getting an all wheel drive. I don't know about you, but if I'm getting a truck, I kind of want it to be all wheel drive. But this is a really good entry point for somebody who wants a Cybertruck 61K. Now, keep this in mind too, is that starting in January, you get the tax credit as instant, it instantly comes off of the price of the vehicle. So that's an additional $7,500 off that you'll get on top of this. But I don't know about you, but if you're gonna tow and you're gonna do things like that, you want all wheel drive and this range is really, uh, lacking here, right? That's 250 range, especially since we've had stuff in the 300 range now for a while. So let's move on. Let's look at the, what I call the sweet spot. So Cybertruck sweet spot is the all wheel drive variant. It's $80,000 and it's giving you 340 miles. Now this is on par to what they promised four years ago, right? They promised 300 plus range and uh, they did promise it at 50,000. We're 30K off, so uh, that stings just a little bit. But remember, um, you can get that $7,500 uh, off. Um, so that brings it down to 73K. Uh, you know, it, it makes it a little bit less stingy. Um, now, if we look over at R1T, they have the same exact thing, $80,000 and a 352 mile range. So you look at these two, they're almost identical. Now, when you're looking at these and you're weighing out the differences, you kind of have to sit there and go, well, a bulletproof truck sounds pretty nice. A truck with a, a larger payload sounds pretty nice. And so Cybertruck's gonna win it there. Not only that, but there is an option for an extended battery uh, thing. Um, it's gonna cost $16,000, so it's not cheap, but it looks like something that you may be able to add after the fact. So if you wanna just get in at a lower range and then maybe later on upgrade, you can do that. And it's gonna add about 160 miles uh, to the range, which I think is a really cool option to have there, um, which you don't, uh, obviously with the Rivian, you can go with a max pack, but you know, here this is, that's something you have to bite the bullet right from the get-go, whereas this is you can buy it after the fact. So between these two, this is the sweet spot that I think most people are gonna buy here. Um, you know, I kind of feel like the weight is here on the Cybertruck because it's just a better bang for the buck. Now, if we look past that, you've got a tri-motor Cybertruck. This was supposed to be 500 miles and it was supposed to be $70,000. It's not 500 miles, it's 320 miles and it's $100,000. Really, really off, which is just a little bit shocking. And it, I wasn't looking at this one, I was looking at all-wheel drive, but for those of you who were looking at tri-motor, this is uh, kind of a little painful here. Um, but remember, again, you can get this up to that 500 mile range when you add this pack, but you're adding $16,000 on top of the 100K. Now you're at $116,000. Sure, you get the $7,500 off, but that's a damn expensive truck. Um, if we come over the R1T, the all wheel drive that gives you the 410 mile range is $90,000. So it's a little bit of a nicer price point, feels a little bit better. Um, and then not only that, but R1T has a quad motor option. So this is gonna be on par with the tri motor, um, but you've got quad. So a little bit better for off-roading and so forth. Um, now that one, you're gonna get a little bit less range, um, but you're at 87K. So a lot to take in here. I think that, you know, Cybertruck definitely edges out because it is just a polarizing, amazing, cool vehicle that's bulletproof, has like a chip resistant glass and has this like all this fancy stuff about it that you're not gonna find in your basic truck. Um, but you can see exactly who they're going after. Now, for someone like me, myself, I look at this and I start to evaluate when, with that big of a price increase, start to separate the need versus a want. And I think this is more of a want than a need. I think if I was looking for something that fit my family better, I might be actually even looking at an R1S, um, which I think for R1S, uh, What's the price on an R1S? We're at 90, about 90K. 
but this is probably the right vehicle for my family as you know this can hold seven passengers in there um, it's got plenty of space um, next year uh, you're, it's going to get the tesla supercharging network so it's, that's going to be awesome um, so i just think that that might be a little bit better option for me if i was looking um, but man the Cybertruck is amazing, it is beautiful, but this pricing is a lot to break down. And then this is not even considering the whole s s slew of accessories that are available on the website. If you go to tesla.com slash Cybertruck, you look at the pricing, you also look at shop.tesla.com, you can see all the, the camp tent, um, they've got like this uh, uh, storage that goes underneath the rear bench, which actually comes in the R1T already. Um, so a lot of these little accessories that you wanna buy and you put that in, the price is only increasing from there. I'm excited to see what third parties make. 16K, uh, oh, this price right here. This is on uh, their website. So you can actually, um, if you go, let's actually look at it right here. Um, uh, was, that was in the, I think just in the normal design. Someone found it. So it's down here on the website. If we go down to the load, by the way, they did a great job with the site. It's, uh, oh, it was embedded in there. Uh, so here it is here. Uh, okay, so yes, I don't think it's published. Um, but it was found in the code um, that it's gonna be about 16K and I had somebody else validate that 16K. But you can see here, that takes up a giant significant portion of the truck bed. So now your bed is getting significantly smaller, um, probably more in line with the R1T. Now for someone like me, I'm not a truck person. I want it because it's badass and um, I'm probably not gonna be using it to lumber or do any of that stuff. So I don't mind having that in there. 16K is a big chunk of change, but I can at least delay it, like maybe get it in two years, three years or something like that. So um, that's something to think about. I don't know. I'm not completely out of the Cybertruck range, still considering it, still thinking about it. I need to really break down the pricing, um, but hopefully this was helpful to kind of understand for those of you that kind of want to understand where does Cybertruck fit as far as pricing when compared to the competition? Here's the R1T, here's the Cybertruck, all the models, all the variants. Sorry for my chicken scratch, but that was everything that was on the brain that I had to put on the whiteboard. Cool. All right, leave any uh, questions or comments down below.